Hey, hey, everyone. This is Kristen Ostrander from mommyincome.com, where I teach people to start and grow businesses online using e-commerce. And this year, I'm making a little bit of a shift into teaching a little bit more about what I know about eBay. And so I wanted to show you a quick tip. Some people have asked me some questions, and I'm just going to kind of make a video for you and answer you. This is going to be an over-the-shoulder video. I'm going to show you something about how I do research to make money on eBay. So I buy a lot of things in lots. I go to estate sales, and uh, stay tuned for some videos about that. Also, subscribe to the channel and tell us in the comments what you want to learn about 15 minute or less videos and tutorials you want to see um, and I'd be happy to make a couple for you because this is fun to me I just love doing this and I love to get big lots at estate sales so I get like tubs worth of stuff I like to go on the last day a lot and just like you know they're they're looking to get rid of stuff right I like to go there and collect those things and put everything in some big box or bin and say how much for all this or I'll give you 20 bucks and i did that this past weekend and i just kind of want to show you some things that i shoved in my box um just a little tiny bit of background i know a little tiny bit about costume jewelry and some things like that i make jewelry art and so i learned more and more about that but i'm very much still a beginner when it comes to that but i do know about toys and books and everything i've been selling online on ebay and on amazon for 20 years so i have 20 almost entering my 21st year in e-commerce and so i'll just show you a few things about ebay like toys in particular like old vintage stuff and really things that my knowledge bank tells me I know that has value I've learned that from somewhere before so I want to just share some of that with you so one of the things I threw into the bin is just this this is a puppet okay it's well it's well made I do some plush I like to sell plush um and you can learn some of that in a, in future videos and stuff but I like plush this one's in really good shape and I noticed that it was a puppet and it grunts it makes noise so I was like okay you can usually get plush for a steal so I was like okay I threw this in now this is this is a disclaimer like a lot of stuff that I grab and go with I'm not looking up in the moment unless I'm gonna pay big money for it I go with a whole bin full of stuff and I say how about 30 bucks for this and most of the time they say yes because they don't want to rummage through my big bin of stuff and I don't have anything of real value to them <laughs> so I saw things like this so I just want to show you really quickly how did I determine right now to do the research and you can do this on site at a garage sale at an estate sale in your car I'm going to show you how to use uh, Google Lens and show you how to do those things in you know, upcoming videos as well but this was more for my experience I know that this is a puppet and this is Folk Manus which is a decent brand that I kind of know about it's well built and everything else so I just toss that in there knowing I can get plush for a deal so now I'm going to share my screen with you and show what I do initially to just look this up on eBay yes you can use Google Lens but this is something I just wanted to use the keywords on eBay I use the top three or four keywords in this in this case this is the folk manis puppet pig so I'm going to look that up and there's a few settings and filters I'm going to put on right away so what I'm determining right now is is this worth selling is this worth selling I haven't even looked it up yet as far as doing research or whatever and I have some things I do with stuff that I'm selling versus not selling or for what price am I going to sell this for is it worth my efforts I mean if I do all the math I got this item for a dollar so I'm not losing out any money, but I like things to turn within three to six months. So we're going to look at that. So scroll all the way to the left on your desktop and click these show only boxes. These are filters I put on sold and completed listings. And then the second filter I like to use is to go shipping highest first. I want to sell, I want to see which ones of these. So we're going broad first. I know that this has more keywords and we're going to look those up in a minute. Um, but I want to determine in, you know, less than five minutes, minus the time I'm sitting here talking to you and teaching you some things, but less than five minutes, is this worth selling and for how much money? You know, so what, what can we expect to get from this? So you want to compare apples to oranges here and you want to make sure that you are looking at the same thing. So right away, I'm just sorting. I sorted by highest price first. I want to know what these things go for and what can I expect? I mean, if these are starting at $15, I'm like, eh, it's going to go down from here. Um, so these sold listings are a little bit different. There's some lots and this one's a flying pig, which we don't have. We have one that's grunting and has some spots and stuff on it. So we are looking to make note of the ones we see here. They're going... $35, these are all brand new. Some of them are pre-owned. So taking a note real quickly of pre-owned, pre-owned. You can also sort through that right here. Ours is pre-owned, so that's used. So that filters a, li a little bit more before you have to get into keywords. And so you know, you scroll down and kind of make notes of, oh, these are selling for around $25. A lot of them have free shipping, $25. Okay, now here's ours. Folkman, um, this is exactly the one that we have. So noting, it says grunting, hand puppet, pretend play stuffed animal, $17.99, $6 shipping. So still around that $25 mark with or without free shipping. Going down a little bit more, here's a similar one here for $15 for six, so $20 to $25. 
it's about what you expect to get for one of these and these are different brands and colors so these ones don't really compare they're going down in value down in price um, and quality even as we scroll all the way down here so we know this item sells now let's go make a quick note of when these sold so this sold december 31st so that was just um a little bit ago like see if it's in the last 30 days you see a few of these this one was october 16th so you know it sells once every few months that we can see maybe it's not offered as much you can also look at the, the competition if you take your completed and sold listings off to see how many of them are available for sale right now and this is where you can add more keywords in like grunting this one's a grunting pig um, and now you can see how what is the going rate that p other people have for sale so if you want to sell it faster you sell it for cheaper um if you you know and if i paid a dollar for this so if i'm selling it for 25 dollars, which by the way is my personal threshold um sometimes it's like i could go below 20 depending on what i got it for most of the time the money's made in the buying so i i'm convinced of that and this is kind of how you see okay the going rate for this one doesn't sell as often as you'd like um occasionally it does sell but if you offered it for 20 dollars and five dollars shipping around that $25 mark you're going to sell it quicker than some of these people they're holding out for 30 I like to sell it and get it gone um, because I paid a dollar so I'm not too worried about how much I'm making on that so just those are just a quick few ways that you can look at the competition and you can look at an item and what it's selling for and what you paid for it so if you you know even just go to a thrift store and you find something cool like this that's in good shape <clears throat> and you see you know it's got it's good whether you know about plush and this has happened to something that I've seen, um, you know, getting it for a steal, um, whether it's a garage sale, I love, love estate sales. That's my jam. I've made a lot of my living doing eBay with estate sales over the years. My thrifting background is mostly, I love garage sales, yard sales. I do thrift stores. It is in Michigan and it gets cold here in the winter. So we have to resort to estate sales because yard sales just go away. So anyway, thank you for listening, watching again, leave comments. If you want to see some more of these types of videos. I try to keep them short and sweet and show you a little bit of something about how you do some research and how you make a little bit money doing that. I find this entertaining and exciting to for me to go and pick through other people's kind of leftover stuff and sell my little puppet pig here. And so <laughs> he's grunting at you. So thank you again. If you want to subscribe to watch some more of these videos and let us know what else you'd like to learn about when it comes to eBay selling or thrifting and flipping. Um, I just like to do it. So let me know and uh, we'll see you next time.